It happened, guys. It's here again. <sighs> the most punchable face on YouTube and the internet in general has come back to strike again, and this time it has gone too far. For those of you who don't know, uh, Jack Dotery uh, is a YouTuber and also kick streamer. Of course, why, why is it always kick? I mean, it always comes down to kick with these things for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, he's a YouTuber who's become popular basically for doing daredevil stunts and pranks in various shops and entertainment parks over the years. And there are people who really enjoy that type of content that have become his friends and he's become massively popular because of it. But uh, at the price of the suffering of others, pretty much. For those of you who don't know what he looks like, it's this guy here. Yeah, uh, you can tell he's got the... His face just looks punchable, dude. <laughs> Like, especially with all the crap that he pulls, and uh, he's got the broccoli haircut, of course, man. He looks like some, he looks like he could be a character in Jujutsu Kaisen or something. Anyway, I said that he struck again, and he did, and it is really bad this time. It just happened, like, yesterday. Uh, Jack Dotery has officially crashed his very expensive McLaren while driving in the rain and on stream to about 180,000 people. Jack Dotery is basically known to his, for his rise of fame because of various controversies such as the Flores Lava Challenges where he basically disrupts Walmarts and Targets and he's been kicked out of them. In addition to many altercations on live streams on Kick, he's also been associated with a bunch of legal issues. Uh, there was a feud with Danny Ahrens a while ago in 2023. Um, there's been several allegations as well, such as grooming allegations uh, a while ago and also abuse allegations. So uh, also false, false copyright claims and a kick ban. And he's also banned from Disneyland, apparently. So this guy has like a rap sheet that is bigger than my forehead. His rap sheet is basically longer than a Shakespearean play and it's insane. And today he just went too far. Let me just play you the clip. I want to show you guys this. It's crazy. Let's watch it together. So here we have our hero of the day, Jack Dotery, driving his McLaren. He's going, you can see right here that he's going at 67 miles an hour on a highway during the rainstorm. And he's also looking at his phone. This is very dangerous and reckless driving. He's literally, I don't know what he's doing. I think he's... Uh, probably looking at chat or something, but it, it, regardless, he should not be looking at his phone, driving with one hand at almost 70 miles an hour during a rainstorm. Of course, it's on kick, and he's, uh, like I said before, he's been filming to 180,000, or streaming to 180,000 people at the time. Oh! Oh! No! And this is where things take a turn for the worse, where he just loses control. He basically spins spins and loses control uh, because he's going too fast. Like look at his look at the speed when he was uh, look at the speed. Let's look at it again when he was going before this happened. He was at a max speed before we before it ended at 72. It looks like 72. Check this out. I'm pretty sure it says 72. Now, I can't show you his friend because he's got a lot of blood on his face and, I, you know, it's pretty bad. Uh, so, but I'm just going to skip past that and show you the scene. Look at the crash here. It's insane. That McLaren is just destroyed. Look at all the pieces. And not to mention that if you saw before, he was spinning out of control and almost went into the truck. There was a white truck, I believe, right beside him. So he almost crashed into that truck. So not only did he endanger himself, his friend, he also endangered several people on the road driving around him. It's insanely reckless driving and it's unacceptable. I mean, look at this damage, guys. Like, it's actually a miracle that he has like one scratch on his face from all this crap. Look at this. No fucking way. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't think your your insurance or Geico or Allstate or State Farm is going to cover that. That's for sure. That thing is destroyed beyond recognition. There's no way. And that thing, what is that? Aren't the McLarens like hundreds of thousand dollars? Aren't they like 200K or something? They're really expensive, if I'm not mistaken. There's no fucking... Michael, here. Michael. Do you have film on that phone, too? No. Yeah, so the ambulance finally came and uh, they were taken to the hospital basically and 
thank God uh, they were not hurt. Uh, neither Jack nor his friend were hurt in the crash. That that's a miracle, and you know that's great. Thank you so much for not, you know, having them be hurt from this thing. It's insane, but still, it is unacceptable, and it's just ridiculous. You can't. It's basically texting and driving. But he's looking at chat, and you can't go at like 72 miles an hour in this rainstorm. Look how drenched it. Look how pouring it is. Uh, you should at least be going like 50 in this. He was also in the fast lane too, which is crazy. He should be in the slow lane. If you're actually going to be stupid enough to look at chat while driving, at least do it in the slowest lane and then drive at like 50 miles an hour or 40 or anything slower. But don't do it at all. Okay. I seriously, that's it's illegal. It's literally illegal. And he's filming crimes on kick stream. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Also, apparently, uh, when I would read some other sources, that he spent like a lot more money, not just on the car, but on detailing the car. So I'm pretty sure he lost probably about 500k in this thing, if not more. So luckily, as I said before, he they went to the hospital, they got checked out, everything was fine, they're okay. But uh, I'm not sure if anything is going to happen, like uh, with the law here and the police officers, and I don't know if they're going to get arrested, or I don't know what's I don't know what's happening here, because that was reckless endangerment. I'm pretty sure of, of you know reckless driving, and I don't know what it's called reckless en endangerment, I guess. A uh, good thing is that he did receive like a ban from Kick actually, because it did go against the it, <laughs> Kick. Finally, finally, Kick has actually banned somebody. Uh, Permanently like he, his account basically got removed to, to my understanding. So uh, that's good. It's probably rightly deserved Yes, um, you can't do that. Like first of all, don't even do that at all. Let uh, and don't stream it That's ridiculous. And uh, so uh, I guess you get what you deserve. Uh, I guess Why is it always kick guys? Seriously? Come on, man. I mean, it, it's not uh, I guess I shouldn't say it's always kick I mean, there's obviously uh, Kick is a legitimate platform. There's great streamers on kick uh, XQC's on kick, uh, many people are on kick, but unfortunately, the things that go viral are the people that do really bad things and literally film crimes on kick, and that's what gets kick a bad rep, so I actually kind of feel bad for kick, to be honest, but uh, then again, like, th they don't ban people as much as they should do, in my opinion. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this because it just came up on the feed. It literally happened like yesterday, I believe, and uh, some other content creators were talking about it too. But uh, yeah, that was uh, <laughs> Jack Dotery uh, being an idiot again, uh, Broccoli Head, and crashing his McLaren into a freaking guardrail. It's actually great that the guardrail was there because if it wasn't there, he would have probably crashed into that little ravine there and it, it wouldn't have been much worse. So thank the Lord that the uh, guardrail was there to protect them, to be honest. Anyway, uh, if you liked the video, make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe. Uh, also, we have memberships now if you want to go check those out. There's a join button if you go to the desktop version. If you're on mobile, click the more links uh, in the top of the channel page there. And it should say become a member and you press that, it'll lead you to the page. We have several memberships, tier 1, tier 2, and tier 3, level 1, 2, 3 of the Forehead Gang. If you want to join, uh, please do so. There's many perks that come with each level, check them out. If you don't want to join, that's okay. It's always just free to hit the subscribe button to support the channel if you want to. Anyway, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Peace.